Hello, my friends. Uh, I'm going to share with you today a topic that I've entitled The Queen of Babylon. Last time we did The Queen of Heaven, we talked about the Holy Spirit and the woman pictured in the book of Revelation chapter 12. And her children keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. And so today we're going to talk about the Queen of Babylon and uh, a very different woman in character. Uh, again, she's pictured in uh, the book of Revelation, chapter 17. An angel takes John in vision and shows her this woman who rules over the kings of the earth. And it says that she saw, I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet, a red colored beast, and full of names of blasphemy, having the seven heads and ten horns. And so, again, this beast is blasphemous against God. It's a nation, a kingdom. And the woman was clothed in purple and scarlet color, decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having a golden cup in her hand full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of whores, harlots, and abominations of the earth. And I saw the woman drunk with the blood of the saints and of the, the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And when I saw her, I wondered with great admiration. So who is this, <laughs> this woman that John was so amazed with? So we're going to take a look at that. And uh, also the, the final verse in 17, verse 18. The woman which he saw is that great city which rules over the kings of the earth. So, and the, the list goes on and on. In the next chapter, chapter 18, uh, verse 7, How much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously, so much torment and sorrow give her. For she says in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord God who judges her. And so she says in her heart, I sit a queen. I'm no widow. I'm married. I have a husband. And the enemy, <laughs> Satan, the devil, is, is that one. But um, so let's talk about this a little bit, about what John is seeing in vision here, because this is the great counterfeit. Last video, we talked about the queen of heaven and the true queen, uh, the Holy Spirit, and those who unite with God, keeping the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. And, and now we've got this counterfeit woman, a queen, religion, false religion, system of worship, boasting and bragging, I sit a queen, you know, on her, on her throne over there in Rome, Vatican City. And worldly power and authority, you know, she... The Vatican City is considered a nation unto itself, a tiny, tiny nation. And almost every country of the world uh, sends ambassadors to Rome, representatives, so that they receive their instructions. And uh, you've got the Pope, the priests, the Jesuits, nuns. You've got a whole system here, a religious, political governing system and essentially they worship the dragon now there's true Christians I, I, I know there's many true Christians in this faith uh, it's a very deceptive faith but there's many who really love Jesus Christ who uh, who study the passion of Christ's crucifixion and, and I know they love Jesus and many of many of them have already come out of Babylon and joined the commandment keeping people of God very rich, gold, precious stones, and pearls. The wealthiest, uh, probably, I think she's the wealthiest nation on earth in uh, Vatican Rome. Murderous, drunk with the blood of the martyrs of Jesus. And uh, it's really sad. Uh, this is an attack. We're in a religious war between the creator of the universe God and His Word, the Holy Scriptures, the Bible, the King James Version especially, because let me just tell you that the manuscripts that the King James Version is based on 
is very different from the newer manuscripts produced by Rome, uh, Sinaiticus and Vault, uh, Vaticanus. These are the Alexandrian Egyptian manuscripts from Rome that uh, dilute the Word of God, dilute it, and uh, delete many verses and words. Thousands of words are missing uh, to promote their own one world, new world agenda. But the, the manuscripts, the Byzantine manuscripts that the King James is based on, the uh, Mesoretic for the Old Testament, the uh, received text uh, for the New Testament, is the one that came from the Church of Antioch and uh, the, the, uh, the early Christians used. And it was copied and copied and copied because that was the popular Bible from then till now. And these newer popular versions just popped up the last hundred years because uh, it's a counter-reformation to get people away from the Word of God into their own. And uh, I wanted to share a text with you in uh, Psalms chapter 12. It's a promise how God is going to preserve His words. Psalms 12, verse uh, 6 and 7. The words of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in a furnace of earth, purified seven times. Ye shall keep them, O Lord. Ye shall preserve them from this generation forever, or continuously. And so there's many promises like that about how, how God preserves His word and how precious it is. Jesus says, Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. That's how God keeps and preserves His Word, His promises. So even till now, we have the precious Word of God. <clears throat> so this, this uh, counterfeit uh, Christian worship is uh, going to be judged by God, destroyed by fire. That's uh, the promise of God's Word, burned up. Because Jesus is uh, victorious, King of kings and Lord of lords. And so... So there's a, a vengeance, a recompense. God's saints will be rewarded with immortality, eternal life, and the wicked will be rewarded with uh, death and destruction and uh, the plagues. And so the Mary that Rome worships is not Jesus' mother. This is a name that they gave to Semiramis with her son Tamas and the father Nimrod. This is a counterfeit God family that the wicked used to worship in their paganistic, idolatrous practices. That's very important to know as Christians. Uh, idol, idol, idolatry, Mariolatry. The Fatima visions. The vision that uh, this is counterfeit, and you just need to know this. So this is uh, the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus versus uh, the worship of paganism. And so I wanted to bring out these main points because John in the book of Revelation was instructed by Jesus, receive these visions so that God's people can be prepared as they enter upon this, uh, the conflict of life, you know, uh, because it's a testing time. The enemy is like a roaring lion doing everything he can to destroy our faith. Skepticism is at an all-time high, doubt and unbelief. And the enemy is trying to pull us back away from the Holy Scriptures and into paganistic worship practices that will destroy, that will condemn our soul in the day of judgment. And so what we've got to do is determine in our mind and heart to be faithful to God. To worship God in Jesus Christ, to stay true to the Bible, and to understand these things enough so that we can choose wisely, make the right choices for ourselves and our families. And so, I just felt this was an important uh, message. God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in.